all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Qui es in service, sanctificeto nomen tu, veniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum super substantiale da nobis hodi, et dimite nobis. Ashbooks coming is now live. Streaming Kingdom Come, Deliverance, streaming at PS will try to talk via chat. Drops enabled.
blessed. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. No. It's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Mother. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been caught in that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. 
and you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword.
nothing to smelt the ore with. And the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you How are you, Henry? Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No. I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes, but there's something I need to do first. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? Heh, <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait.
Good day, Henry. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. If that's the way you want it, I'll tell Father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. And don't come back.
locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. What's going on there? Welcome, Henry. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. What happened? Greetings. Take care. Delicate velvet, beautiful and functional. The best thing for hair. I heard it from a traveling merchant. He had it in store. You come there, lovely. Everything's for the house. God be with you. Good health to you. God be with you. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. Satin, damn it! 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 Satin, damn
forks and axes. All you need to tame Mother Nature. All you need to tame Mother Nature. Come on up and take a look. Greetings. I bought you everything. Or something else? You know how it is.
You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, the Henry. To your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrian? Alex? No, it's true though. Winslow is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kruner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. Go be with you, Henry. Huh? So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah.
What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshas! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans, let's make those smiles off your faces. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Lost your balls. Scheiße. Eat me. Look out. God be with you, Henry. Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? An only stray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lockpicks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz.
to put a smile on your face. God be with you, Henry. Hey, who's there? What do you want? You have no business here. A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. God be with you. Do you need anything?
instruments, instruments and tools, instruments everything for work and, and home. Everything for work and home. If it's charcoal, you won't talk to my eye down. I've no time now. I've only got two hands. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And... Apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. As the gentleman wishes. But wait though, there's a catch. I've no money. Kunner shows me and he won't pay up. <sighs> Leave it to me. But you have to pay me back this evening. You're the best girl a man could wish for. Your father wants a cool one from the cellar, doesn't he? Wait here while I fetch it. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak? I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Good health to you, Henry. God save you. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all
thought we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. What the...? Kunesh! Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you! What the fuck are you here How for? Are you, Henry? you want me to take a rip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. You're gonna cry now. Take that. What you want? It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Seems you're trying to flog me stolen goods. So you better drop the price. How much do you have in mind? I'm finished. This is going nowhere. God be with you, Henry. I think that's all I need. 
Greetings. Strong linen, delicate velvet, ceiling. No, no, that looks like stolen goods. I won't buy that. Good day. See you later. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Ah, good. Once again. Good. Ah, not bad. Not bad. Now you're getting it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Once again. Very good. All right. All right. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. 
But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Good. Now you're getting it. enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can pay for it yourself. That's the price of stupidity. Look like something the cat dragged in. I'm back. I can see that. What's the matter? I need another pitcher of ale. The last one wasn't cold enough for father. You want me to get it for you? Aye, and a smile from you. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this year. Out of the question. <laughs> I... The Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't... Well, I'd say he's in it.
About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? 
Keep it here. And we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. That will do. Go and get those damn nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this Sorry, evening? Girl. We will. It seems the lad's lost his mind. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. If it just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago, 
I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me.
Run by the moat! There's a path down there. Jump down from the wall and flee! Don't touch me, or I'll kill you! Go to hell, you turtle beast! Uh, Yeah. Yeah. 
Left. Halberg is to the yeah. left along the stream. Yeah. 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 Left. Halberg is to the left along the stream. Tudod, 
hogy fog végződni. Gyere te, Gani! Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. 
The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalas is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Nothing terribly urgent, sir. Just a reminder from your cousin that he'll come in a month. Ah, I see. Well, remind me the week before he arrives, so I'll have time to prepare properly. I'm sorry, but it's too hard for me to talk about. I understand. It must have been terrible. Why don't you go and get yourself some rest? star. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually.
that sounded like. Please tell me what happened at Scarlet's. I have kin there. Sigismund's army appeared out of nowhere. There were so many of them, not just infantry, but cavalry, too. Those foreign mercenaries with their strange helmets and the souls of beasts. Heavens above! They began murdering. They cut down anyone who didn't flee to the castle and destroyed every... My God, what times we live in! Oh, something to eat. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine rip. Ugh. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Please, tell me what happened at Scarlet's. I have kin there. Sigismund's army appeared. Heavens above! I ran to the castle. For they were both killed. The gate was closed by the... That's horrible.
Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But, to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. 
I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Skalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Saradzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through, I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. 
That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Listen up! If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalps. 
Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Good luck to you. Sir Antzig, what a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people, move out! Don't be a tall mate for day now! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as all. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. 
I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done to me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. May the Lord watch over you. Good health to you. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were saved, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to... Maybe he'll leave Talmberg B. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzik, because he's Wenceslas's headman. The Scarlet's is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking. Two birds with one stone. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. I will. Thank you. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go!
see how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who let the attacker Scullis and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Good day to you. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come? That's war for you, lad. 
Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is... What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against... So then why did Sigismund... Why do you think? I suppose... Because it has a strategic position and good fortifications. <laughs> King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After pra So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas. Now you're starting to understand. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, and believe me, Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay. Sir Robard, my parents died there. Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait. Why did Sigismund... That's war for you, lad. May the Lord watch over you. Good health to you. Is there someone here who... Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. <laughs> for anything else, but he can get you... That business... Aye, that... Farewell. Jesus Christ be praised. Can you tell me where I can buy someone to do business with? Sir Divish certainly. You're right there. That's Sir Divish. Good luck to you. Good day to you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father... I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. 
May the Lord watch over you. Jesus Christ be... Farewell. said yourself, you don't believe a word Vilma says. So stop working yourself up. Everything's fine and that's See? how it'll stay. Uh, but... No buts. Everything will be all right. Got it? I suppose. It's terrible what's going on in our land these days. The end of the world is nigh. Mark my word. Can't you see? Play. No buts. Everything will be all right. Good day to you. What do you need? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Good luck to you. he was building always at it
Jesus Christ be praised. What do you think of- I can't imagine how they did it. When you're on campaign- You only say that- Aye. Is the robot really- Tough. I believe it. Good luck to you. What's going on out there? Mother of... Hey, stop that! Christ, a thief! I see a thief. God! Hey, you! Hold! Surrender. You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. Ow! What's the matter? <sighs> Not your boss? Ah! You were seen thieving. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. What's going on there? That much? I don't have enough on me. You still have to pay. What's that? Oh, come on, my friend. What of it? The law applies... Hi.
Who's there? That sounded like... You gonna cross? Yeah. the love of God. You know what my old man is like. Nothing ever good enough for him. Always turning his nose up. Good morning. Sigismund's very... And no mistake. Is there someone... Try Votava. He's as thin as a... May the Lord watch over you. Good day to you. What do you need? Can we trade? Take care now.
Why are you creeping around like a... The Lord be praised. What... My lady. Well, maybe my mind... You, my lady? I fear something bigger. What do you think, my lady? Not quite. Oh. I would like to ask your assistance. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle. And your husband... Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? My lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for sh My dear boy, you'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial? My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. If I could just get past the guard- But- But you can! If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if- Good thinking. And where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if- How would you? This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them- That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. Take care. Hey, who's there?
Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Take care now. Can we trade? If you've got the... May the Lord watch over you. If you're up to no good... The Lord save you. What? My What? Maybe my mind. You, my lady. I, I would like to. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the. Why, for the love of. My lady. I did. If I. But Good thinking.
up Where's in the gate. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. How would you? This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. And I'll certainly... You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the... That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my... Goodbye. What are you doing sleeping here? That's not your bed! Get out! Over here. Hey, who's there? Hey, is someone there? I must be going mad. Oh, sure. Good day to you. Can we try it? I'll be with you.
What was that noise? What the hell was Probably some animal.
my lady. God be with you. I'm sorry. Do I know you? <laughs> I didn't reckon. I still think you should stay here in the... I see your heart is dry. Good health to Can we trade? Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be praised. Farewell. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. Good luck to you.
Yeah. 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 I've already caught. Jesus.
What's that? Hey! What have we got here? Stop! Oh!
Hey, who's there? What's that? What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? Ugh. <sighs>